And the latest on a fiery crash on I-10 south of the valley. Several cars and semi-trucks involved. Two people killed and several more hurt. It happened this morning near Casa Grande. The freeway was shut down for nearly six hours. Still closed at this hour. Fox 10's Danielle Miller spoke to a chopper pilot who happened to be flying overhead. She joins us live with the latest, Danielle. Well, John and Christina, good evening. Yes, this crash happened just before noon today. It started in the eastbound lanes of the I-10 and moved into those westbound lanes uh, where they are still closed at this hour. Traffic still backed up uh, for miles. The eastbound lanes are open at this time, but police are continuing to investigate exactly what happened out here. The westbound lanes of the I-10 near milepost 187 just north of Casa Grande closed for hours because of this deadly crash. The fiery scene leaving two dead and several injured. According to DPS, a commercial truck drove across the median and into oncoming traffic. From there, it hit two other commercial trucks and multiple passenger vehicles. It then burst into flames. It must have just happened because we were on the same channels with medevac and, and police and basically and there was no chatter at all. Uh, we orbited probably about three times and we got a little bit lower to see the carnage and as we were departing back to uh, the airport, we could hear two medevac helicopters leaving from the north coming southbound. Pilot Dr. David Warkatin was up for training when he saw the thick black smoke coming from the I-10. He flew closer and captured this video. He says in all of his 17 years of flying, he's never seen an accident as bad as this one. It, there was so much smoke. It looked like it, it looked to me like there was three semi trailers involved. Uh, two were on their side. One had burst into flames. One was in the median. One was off off, off the side. The one in the flames was in the uh, this, the their right hand lane northbound, and it looked like a car was underneath it. There was probably I would think from what we saw, uh, at least maybe four, possibly five uh, civilian vehicles outside the semi trailers were involved. It looked like there was about anywhere between six and nine cars and trucks involved. And DPS says they have no estimated time of when the westbound lanes might reopen. They expect to be out here for several hours. As we mentioned, the eastbound lanes here on the I-10 are uh, completely open at this time, but closer to the crash scene down there, traffic is moving very slowly. DPS is asking people uh, just to avoid the area, if at all possible. If we get any updates on this crash, we'll bring you those updates as they become available. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.